The Fortnite competitive scene has the craziest talent that we've ever experienced in the esports scene. But these two EU players are on another level. Butcher Crush Tommy, where you at your motivation guy? That's right, I am back. And today, we're gonna be talking about another player versus another player video. I'm absolutely excited to show you guys the crazy talent that these two players have when it comes to Fortnite competitive play. These guys are mind blowing when it comes to both mechanical skill and game sense, which are two things that are very important to succeeding in the competitive scene. And so with that being said, guys, look, we're always debating whether Taysun is the best player in the world or if Noah Rayleigh's robotic mechanics matches his performance performance. So let's find out today and analyze them through five rounds, each focused on a different aspect of player skill and competitive play. And by the end, whoever wins the most rounds will be crowned the winner. You guys ready for this? Let's get this going. All right, guys. So for round one, we're going to be looking at how well these players work in team game modes. Who's the smartest and most reliable teammate? Or are these two just successful for their individual skill? All right, so starting off with the three-time FNCS winner, Taysun, it's pretty obvious that he's a really good team player. Taysun won the season four FNCS alongside Mangro and Micho, two players who were exceptionally ahead of the scene during the time. Taysun also IGL'd his trio while Noah just stuck to the fragger role. Both of their roles in each trio really fit them and is why both trios ended with a great grand finals performance. Something that Taysun really needs to be credited for is his trio situation and how he still managed to win an FNCS with the trio he formed at the start of the season. Along with having trio problems before he won the trio's FNCS, he actually split up with Mongo and Mitro right after the win. This may seem like it may have been a bad idea, but it worked out in the end for him. Taysen then played with Enretta and Mr. Savage for Season 5 FNCS, and after a season of disappointment, he brought it back with the top three finish with 4ZR and Nate. Now, don't think that Taysen is the only player with trio problems, as Noah Ray Lee faced many problems both before Season 4, and very recently was splitting from the deal. Noah Ray Lee had formed one of the best trios in Season 4, along with Raison and Aqua, and the unluckiest thing happened to them. Aqua got banned for leaving the match during a shakedown, which ruined all their chances of making it to the grand finals. And after Aqua took a break, Nora Lee picked up Vadil and formed one of the best trios ever. This trio went on to win many cash cups, placed top five in almost every single trio event, including a top three and top five in the season five and six FNCS. However, this trio still split due to chemistry problems and is why Taysen is definitely stronger in the teamwork scene. Even though Noah may have gotten very unlucky or even held back by his old trio, Taysen proved that he could lead any trio to a decent placement with ease. Obviously, Taysen takes this category, but Noah is still an extremely consistent player. We just had to give this to Taysen, which makes the score one to zero for Taysen. This matchup is mostly about individual skill, so remember that for the next categories. When it comes to getting better at Fortnite, there's a world of information out there, but not everything always gives you structure. So if you want pro one-on-one coaching from top pros, go to ProGuys.com and sign up today using code RANKUP2021 for 20% off. They are designed to train you in every area according to your pace, so we highly recommend it. You know, there are lots of things that every pro player needs to practice to become the best possible player in the world, and building and editing is a huge part of it. To become a better fighter, every pro puts in a lot of work into their mechanics, something that Taysen and Noah always do when they have the chance. No matter what they do, they're always looking to improve by playing creative against pros and using creative training maps. All right, so starting off with Taysen, we can already observe how smooth and accurate his mechanics are. Taysen rarely misses an edit, but is obviously more of a player who takes his time and plans out all his builds. On the other hand, Noah is a player who thinks much faster and is the reason his gameplay is so much faster and more entertaining to watch. Noah is literally known for the best in game mechanics and Taysen isn't far behind. Don't think that Taysen is like the average competitive player who relies on peace control and defensive play to win his fights, as his gameplay is insane. But just watching his highlights, man, you can already tell how consistent he is. And so when it comes to consistency and smooth mechanics, we really think Taysen wins this category. However, this category is all about flashiness and how quickly a player can outplay somebody else. And Noah Rayleigh is really good with that. Obviously, you know, their sensitivity has a lot to do with their mechanical limit, 
but Noah has done it on every sensitivity. No matter what situation he's in as well. Noah even fully boxes players in stack lobbies without letting the lag and pressure get to his head. Noah is also a much smarter player when it comes to fighting, and when it's combined with his fast mechanics, he can outplay any player, including the best like Taste and a Mr. Savage. This was a really tough one, but Noah's pure skill combined with his IQ and insane prediction skills definitely take this category. Along with winning the editing FNCS showdown, Noah is just the best mechanical player in the world. And so with that being done, the score is now one to one. This is gonna get crazy, guys. You do not wanna go anywhere. All right, so up next is round three, Game Sense. And we don't just mean how well a player can IGL. We're tying in everything from fighting, rotations, off spawn, uh, you know, storm surge, and even drop spot game sense, all right? You may think that Taysen automatically wins this, but Noah's game IQ is through the roof. So starting off with Noah, we really think his fighting IQ is better than Taysen's. Like, there's a reason he's called the best fighter in the world, and it's not only because of his mechanics. Noah wins all of his fights through absolutely outplaying his opponents, rather than just taking the defensive play style and outplaying his opponents with patience. However, with everything to do with stack lobbies, Taysen's experience and consistent practice takes the win. He always manages to find a route that works for him and is extremely good at positioning himself in the right spots. Taysen is just so smart that he can guess the next zones by just analyzing the terrain around him, which allows him to secure more storm surge tags and have more time for looting and just completely just stay ahead of the game. Outside of playing for in-game man, like knowing how to land at a drop spot and win off spawn fights is also very important. And Noah and Taysen are both extremely good at learning new drop spots, and it's really just tough to decide which one is better here. Taysen's team literally ran Noah out of Sweaty Sands during the previous seasons, but many may argue that it was just a mutual agreement. Noah switched his drop spots a lot and is still very successful, but you know, we really think that Taysen's dedication and discipline wins this category. All right, in the game sense category, I think that we can all agree that Taysen wins this one. Not only is Taysen one of the best IGLs, he, he's also has won two solo FNCSs because of his great knowledge of the game. Okay, so now that we know who's the smarter player overall, the score is two to one for Taysen. All right, so now for the fourth category, we got aim. Here we go. All right, aim is the most important factor when it comes to winning fights, especially when you're taking close quarter fights and really depending on your AR aim to survive stack lobbies. All right, so let's just see if Nora Lee can out aim the three time FNCS winner. So just by watching Taysen's gameplay, all right, we can already tell that his aim is better than 99% of all players. He never misses a shot <laughs> and he has insane tracking. You know, there's a reason he's won three FNCSs without breaking a sweat. Taysen knows exactly what he needs to do to survive and hitting all of his shots to survive Storm Surge and get refreshes is something he never fails to do. The work that he puts in daily is almost unmatchable, and you know, it's just why his aim combined with his other skills allows him to be so successful. All right, so do we say that his aim was unmatchable? Nope, we said almost. <laughs> and there's only a few others that can really out-aim Taysen, including your guy, Norelli. Noah has the best aim in the game, that's for sure, right? And the time he puts in is ridiculous. And so while the average pro player is watching Netflix or relaxing, Noah's on Kovacs, man. Like he Kovacs in his sleep and even in school. Even after Noah finishes his aim training routine outside of Fortnite, he likes playing other aim games like Valorant to improve his headshot consistency. If you think that's enough, all right, he even plays creative maps like the Scubbox aim trainer and the Raider 464 aim training map to sharpen his game to another level. So speaking of which, all right, if you're trying to get your aim on the pro level, man, like make sure that you check out our previous setting videos and our pro routine video. Utilize pro guys to practice just like the pros and maybe we're gonna be featuring you on this versus series sometime in the future. You know, obviously Noah takes this category, his aim and pure mechanical talent is the reason he's considered the best fighter in the competitive scene and is why, you know, we just had to take Noah over Taysom for this one, which makes the score two to two. All right, so this tie is so controversial, I get it, which is why the next category will definitely prove who's the better player overall. Wow, this is getting crazy, bro. The two best players in EU are tied, and you can guess the fifth category. All right, let's just say it's gonna prove who has the most individual talent out of the two. If you guess the solos, then you're definitely on point. All right, so we just had to include solos after putting in the teamwork aspect, and you know, what better way to prove their individual skill than comparing their placements in the biggest solo events? Both these players are phenomenal solo players, and it's why this category is definitely a good one. All right, so start off with Noah Ray Lee. We just have to showcase all of his placements. He's placed in more solo cash cups than you can count. 
and one fourth of his earnings are just from cash cups and open solo formats. Noah struggled in FNCS formats, but his cash cup placements were unbelievable. On the other hand, Taysom has never heard of struggle in a solo event. If Taysom plays a solo event, he's placing top 10 no matter what. He could literally do it in his sleep on a 150 plus pink. His smarts and knowledge of the game allow him to pace in solos consistently no matter how lucky he gets. You know, Taysom will never make an excuse for his bad performances because he knows he never has a bad performance unless he's having like the worst day ever. You might as well call Taysom Tay Solo. That's just how good he is. Like first place in solo FNCS season three, first place in solo all-stars, and 40 plus cash cup placements on multiple regions. All right, so think of your favorite T1 Pro on NA. You know, whether it's Saf or Acorn or Ascentive, Taysom places better in solo cash cups than all three of them combined. On NAE, it's like ping is like non-existent for Taysom. So we all know that we hyped up Taysom a lot during this category, but he truly deserves it, man. Obviously, Taysom takes this category, which makes him the winner over Noah. Uh, so this was a very close matchup, but we just had to give it to the greatest solo player of all time. All right, guys, so with that being said, our final score is three to two for Taysom, which means that Taysom is the winner of this matchup. You know, obviously these two players are completely different and each have their own strengths. So, you know, let us know in the comments what you guys think. You know, Noah Rayleigh is still one of the best players in the entire world, but when it comes to consistency and game sense, Taysom just takes this matchup. You know, I think Noah has the best mechanics and aim in the world and his pure skill is unmatched, not even by Taysun. So don't forget to check out Noah and Taysun's channel if they impressed you today. If you guys liked the video, you already know what to do. Subscribe to the channel and connect with me on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. I believe in you guys. I really do. I'm pulling for you. Keep going. Don't quit. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.